During the last century, we have seen like a dramatic change in the way we live in this planet. Most of the people have moved to cities. Nowadays, more than half of the population is living in urban areas. And by 2050, this is going to be up to 70%. The Master in Design for Emerging Futures is a nine-month program that is happening in Barcelona, where we want students to learn by doing, by experimenting in the real world, and trying to challenge the way things work today in order to create the world that we want to live in our near future. This course is actually about making. It is actually about getting your hands dirty and, and, and trying things. And not just sort of like in an old-fashioned way. It actually embraces technology, embraces uh, new production methods. This is a unique program in terms of that combines the expertise of the Institute of Advanced Architecture of Catalonia and the Design School of Elizaba. This master offers the capacity to deal with complexity at many levels while allows students to incorporate a new set of skills that are for us are fundamental for the 21st century. The content of this master is delivered in collaboration with FabLab Barcelona. That means that while students are learning about AI, blockchain, synthetic biology, big data, circular economy, it's not just thinking about these concepts, but actually practicing them in the lab. The program is structured in four main tracks. It's exploration, reflection, instrumentation and application. But it's also organized in three terms. In the first term, we want students to understand what it means to design for emerging futures. In the second term, we want them to design and develop interventions that allow us to change the reality in the present. And then in the third term, we want them to test and speculate about the possible futures that they're going to create by designing new interventions in the current reality. I would recommend it because like, it's very interdisciplinary, so like, a lot of people come together here. The students not just learn from the teachers, but learn also from the other students. What I enjoy most, to be honest, uh, I would say the people. I really enjoy to work with them. That's why we encourage to have people from social science to engineering, architecture, product design, graphic design. Students coming to this master will find uh, a program that is inside a vast and highly innovative networks of game changers and creative people all over the world. We had a lot of great lecturers. We have Professor uh, Neil Gershenfeld, uh, who is the, di the director of the Center for Bits and Atoms at MIT, who is leading the Fab Academy track inside the program. So I guess like anyone who is a specialist in their field and comes here is amazing because you, get, you don't know these people normally. We are also partnering with Space10, which is the IKEA Innovation Lab, Kickstarter, the Fab Academy program, which is the educational platform of the Fab Lab Network, as well as with Seed Studio, which is our partner in China. Students coming to this master don't need to be an expert in anything, just a very motivated and passionate learner. You'll find yourself in an open source and collaborative environment in which everybody is learning from each other. It's for people that they are looking to create from themselves a, a hybrid profile, which we believe is, is so much needed in the 21st century challenges that we have. This multi-skilled, self-determined and interdisciplinary worker can provide great value in a changing workforce. We are not creating pieces of the engine, we are creating a new engine with new professionals. Students graduating this program may find themselves working in such roles as Chief Complexity Officer or Head of Innovation. The environmental situation demands that we start designing in a different way and designers are presently not being educated in a way to design for these systems of sustainability like circular economy. We really need to dramatically change the whole uh, way in which we organize resources in the world and in order to do that we need designers committed um, to disrupt uh, the way things work.